Hey guys, this is Not Lambert from Invoked 101, welcome back, and before we get into this, I'd like to give a uh, big thank you to Konami for once again hitting ABC like two days after I uploaded my ABC profile, that was nice. Um, but anyways, uh, this is my updated ABC deck post ban list because I have to do this every time there's a ban list, apparently. So now we only have ABC, one ABC Dragon Buster, but that's perfectly fine. This deck still makes boards. Uh, you'll see why. Before we get into it, big shout out to uh, the Invoke 101 Discord, specifically Shiro and TCG Cardcast. They helped me find some cards to help uh, bolster this deck and kind of play test this around. I did some test hands last night and this thing is awesome. Um, so uh, basically ABC going first still makes the same exact board. You're still making Carrier Infinity uh, ABC, you're still making uh, Gadget Carrier ABC, you're still making that same board. It's really after you resolve the ABC where this deck profile comes in and fixes that. A lot of people say, have been saying Magnet Reverse, uh, uh, so that's what... Um, uh, I'm not going to be hard maining 3 Magnet Reverse, I think 2 is proper, but you'll see that in this profile and I will discuss a lot of the card choices uh, in this. So. We're going to set the uh, extra deck, the spells and traps off to the side, and right before we get into the monsters down in the description, there's a link to our Patreon, our Teespring, our Ko- our Kofi, our Cash App, and our Discord, so if you feel like checking out any of those links and supporting the channel in any way, that's how to do it. Uh, so with that said, let's start. Uh, 3A, 3B and 3C. I've gone over these guys enough. If you want a more in-depth look at these, like what these guys do, uh, the previous profile is still pretty up to date. It just isn't the same. But yeah, uh, anyways, recovers one from grave, searches one from deck, specials one from hand, uh, when sent from field to grave on all three of those. Uh, and then for the extra unions, uh, one of this guy who special summons one from grave on normal summon. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better view of these cards. Uh, specials one, uh, on normal summon from grave because uh, that's pretty cool and then we also have one torque tune gear uh, this turns anything into a tuner and gives things 500 attack so a pretty good little card i like it i've never not liked torque tune gear in the deck it also gives you access to needle fiber if you have one so um there you go uh extra cards still playing the three golds i still think three gold is proper i was testing this out in the uh, at two, and I didn't like it at two. I bumped it back up to three. Same thing goes for the silvers. I think that this is correct. Man, that silver gadget looks funky under these lights. That's okay though. Um, so yeah. Uh, three soldiers. Uh, soldier is correct in my opinion now uh, because it is Master Rule 5. Uh, Galaxy Soldier, I feel, is 100% correct. Yes, don't, don't not play soldier. Uh, then, like I mentioned in the last one, I am playing uh, the Symphonic Engine. Uh, this stayed in this profile because the extra normal summon is super valuable in this deck. Um, it's still valuable because you still want to do all the same things turn one. Like, that's the main thing. You're still doing all the same things turn one. So the extra normal summon is still valuable. Um, I don't know if this guy was in my last profile. I'm not going to lie. Um, Gizmek Yada, actually really good card. So... You don't know what Gizmek Yada does. He is a level five light uh, machine with 2050, 2050. And his effect is you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one normal summoned monster. Uh, you can only use each, effect, each of the following effects of Yada uh, once per turn. During your main phase, if this card was if this card was normal or special summoned this way, you can immediately, after this effect resolves, normal summon one monster. If you do, you cannot special summon monster for the rest of this turn, except monster with the same original type as that monster. So that's the main effect we're using is the extra normal summon, but it also has an effect of if this special summon, if this card special summoned by its own effect is tributed, gain 2050 life points. Uh, so that's also a thing that you can do in time if you if you see it. Uh, but anyways, um, Anyways, Gizmek Yada, the main reason we're using him is for that extra normal summon. Almost, I'm pretty sure everything in the in the deck is machine. Uh, yeah, these are all machines. So, what that means is that there is really no restriction on the Gizmek Yada. You can just keep summoning things. Because it doesn't say same attribute, it says original type. Which, same attribute would be a little difficult. We wouldn't be able to use the Symphonics. But almost everything in this deck is light. So, it still wouldn't matter nearly as much. But yeah, uh, two Yada I, I think is correct. I like the two Yadas as I've been playing. Uh, anyways, uh, so going into these spells, we have, of course, Triple Hanger. We want to see Hanger in every opening hand. So, we play four of them. 
Uh, that's the main. That it's your. It's your like your best card in the deck. Union Hanger is insane. Uh, then we also have uh, three called buys uh, because we need things to resolve. Like real talk, especially now, we need three things to resolve. And Ghost Spell potentially coming back or DD Crow hitting the ABC Buster. Called by is a mandatory three of an ABCs. It's been a three of an ABCs for a really long time. It's now more than ever. Uh, then, uh, like I said, I'm not hard maining three of these. I am playing two because uh, it does happen. And I believe this can uh, target one of your machine or rock monsters that's banished or is in the graveyard that cannot be normal summoned. So there you go. So even if ABC gets banished, this card can get him back. This is Magnet Reverse is an insane card that ABC has access to. It's crazy that this deck has access to this card. I guarantee this card's gonna get bought out too. Um, th two double summon, not three, not three. Three is a little incorrect. Two, I feel, is just the right number. Um, again, it's one of those cards that gives you an extra normal summon. You want to see your extra normal summons um, in your hand. Although I have thought about cutting this because there is a lot of times where I see Yada or the uh, or the guitar, but at the same time, I you can just di ditch this off the guitar if you see it, and then get another extra normal summon. So. It's it really comes down to if you how you feel that this card impacts your deck. Um, I'm gonna be playing it for a little bit and see how it turns out. Uh, Cause like I I built this deck like three days ago and then it got hit. So this is kind of I haven't had time to fully try out things. Here is the card that one of my buddies told me about. Uh, I believe Cardcast mentioned this card when we were talking about how to fix ABCs, and I immediately dug three of them out of my bulk. Three Monster Reincarnation. This card. Turns out, so originally we were thinking Pot of Avarice, like I said in my uh, banless video, I, uh, I mentioned Pot of Avarice. Um, Monster Reincarnation is much better than Pot of Avarice, mostly because it doesn't require nearly as much setup. It's a uh, discard one card, target a monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This can target extra deck things because it, all it has to do is target a monster. The monster doesn't necessarily have to go to your hand as long as it can be returned somewhere. Meaning ABC, you can target ABC Buster and stick it back in the extra. This is cool i like this i'm gonna see how it plays out pretty sure it works that way if it does not work that way please let me know and tell me i'm an idiot in the comments please like real talk if monster reincarnation doesn't work that way let me know because uh i would love to know i'm i we were all talking in the discord about it me shiro and card cast and we were all like yeah it should work that way so we we so that's what we went with oh uh, but yeah Definitely a cool card for ABCs. Definitely, I think, a potential new staple for ABCs. And then uh, one, Monster Reborn. Uh, so Monster Reborn is the final card in the main deck uh, for obvious reasons, it's Monster Reborn. Um, but really, this slot could be filled with whatever you want. Uh, and with that said, that is it for the main deck. I, um, I'm i confident in this, in this main deck. I think it is um, definitely one that it's a it's a deck it's a deck it does what it's supposed to that's the main thing uh what re gets really interesting is when we move into the extra so of course like i mentioned there is only one abc buster now which really sucks uh because abc buster is freaking insane so only having one is really rough especially since you're supposed to tribute him to get back a b and c um but that's where the extra deck comes in so uh the first card so this is basically rank four spam now so we're gonna set abc off to the side it's basically rank four spam that at the end of its rank four spam summons buster again so like i mentioned it makes the same first turn one boards but then you tribute him on your opponent's turn get your three pieces back what do you do after that well, if you don't have Monster Reincarnation, you Digusto Emerald it back into the main deck. Um, Digusto Emerald, and the, oh, and then you get back into the extra deck, and then you get a draw card. Digusto Emerald is great. I can't, like, oh my god, this card is awesome in this deck. Uh, I, I found this in my bulk. We weren't even talking about this, and I found it out of, like, my dual overload stuff, and I was like, oh, snap, Emerald. So I put an Emerald in the extra deck, because I was like, of course, it shuffles things back. Um, I actually forgot that it lets you draw a card. I was literally playing it just to a... Uh, Shuffle ABC back into the extra deck. So there we go, Digesto Emerald. Uh, but the other card, because you get three monsters, I figured eight, uh, Evil Swarm or Boros would be a really cool rank four to play. Because you get three monsters for free, and you, if you have Hanger, you get to equip something, which is a B, so you can search. You just get to rip a card out of your opponent's hand, um, which is pretty fun. I think that's great. It's also a 2750 body, so. Uh, there was no there I was like evil swarm or Boris. Uh, there was actually I was making boards and like going and so I tributed ABC to 
do this. I made Ouroboros platinum, uh, uh, had the platinum gadget, made Emerald, had Infinity. It was nuts. It was it was popping off, and then I summoned back the Buster. It was crazy, and I still had like three cards in my hand. Uh, but yeah, these two are the newest additions. These are great cards to add in because uh, they let you do things. Like I mentioned last time, Gear Gear X it searches the uh, it searches really anything in your deck except for Galaxy Soldier and Yada. So, uh, but the main thing you're using this for is to search Guitar to get extra summons. Uh, one Tornado Dragon to pop back row. Uh, one Bujinti Tsukiyomi to draw cards. Gaga Ga Cowboy for time. I think this was a card that I cut out originally. And then of course we're playing Nova and Infinity. Now before I move on, uh, you may be asking, did you cut all the Synchro Monsters? There's no Cockadoodle Doo in your deck. Uh, I did, but you can still play cards like Draco Berserker and um, Borlode Savage Dragon if you want because Torque Tune Gear makes things a level four tuner. So if you want to do that, you can still do that. Um, but with that said, I'm going to move these XZ's guys off to the side. And we're going to get into the links, which include Gravity Controller to send things from the extra monster zone to the graveyard, specifically Tsukiyomi. That's the main reason we're playing this. Uh, two, Union Carrier. Union Carrier is great. Um, it's one of the best parts about this whole deck, and it's probably the reason this went to one. But yeah, it's fine. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Union Carrier is still busted. Uh, then one Platinum Gadget. Platinum Gadget actually becomes super important with the rank 4 spam idea that this deck has. Because basically it's ABC, it, like I said, it's basically ABC rank spam that then summons ABC Buster. Because ABC needs a new boss monster and I figured Ouroboros could fit that category just because of the three monsters. Uh, then we also have Barricade Board Blocker and a Soryuja Skulldread. Now if you want to try something different, you could play IP Mascarina over this card and a Opelousa to summon on your opponent's turn. Because I've seen people do that. Um, that's pretty cool. If you want to be like a pro gamer right there, you can do that. Um, I don't have an Opelousa, so I just went with Barricade and Skulldread because those were the ones that I had and were in the deck. This recovers a uh, Union Hanger though, if Union Hanger gets popped, so I kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, that's actually it for the, uh, for the extra deck too. ABC is definitely in a rough spot now. I don't disagree with the fact that like people are like, oh, ABC's dead. I don't think it's totally dead though. I think that with a little innovation, I think that this is the deck uh, that, like this this build is the build right now. I mean, I, I'm not totally sure about the monster reincarnations. I think with Emerald, we could cut this to two, but right now this is what I'm playing and I hope you guys like it. Again, big shout out to the Invoked 101 Discord. Cardcast and Shiro specifically helped me out with, with some of the card choices in this and changing things out. So, big shout outs to them. Um, and before I let you guys go, down in the description one more time, there's a link to our Patreon, our Teespring, our Kofi, our Cash App, and our Discord. So if you feel like checking out any of those links and supporting the channel in any way, that's how to do it. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.